Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the speed, distance, and time. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, before we do this kind of given in calculating the missing value involving the distance, speed, and time, we have here this triangle wherein first, you need to know how to derive or how to memorize the formula with regard to the speed, distance, and time. So as you can see, we have here D stands for the distance, S for the speed, and T stands for the time. If you will be calculating for the distance, you have your distance, using this formula or using this triangle, we can derive the formula distance is equal to this two speed s times time so as you can see we have d or distance is equal to speed times time next if you will be calculating for the speed which is s using this triangle as you can see we will cover this one and you have d over again distance over time so our formula is speed or s is equal to d over time and lastly if you will be calculating for the for the time you have your time which is t and that is equal to you will cover the variable t or the letter t that is equal to distance over speed okay so we have s oh sorry this is d over speed now since we are done figuring out or deriving the formula for the distance speed and time let's go with this given examples calculate the missing value in number one we are given here 3 hours at 40 miles per hour. So, what's missing here? This is your time. You have your T. This is your T. And since you have 40 miles per hour, this is under your speed. Therefore, what we need to calculate here is distance. So, using the formula, D is equal to speed times time. We will substitute the value of your speed, which is 40 miles per hour times, or we can write it as M over H times your time, which is 3 hours. So we have here 3 hours. So multiplying this, we can easily eliminate your hours, your hours unit, okay? So as you can see, what will remain here is simply 40 meters times 3. And the answer is simply 40 times 3, that would be 120 meters. This is the answer for item number 1. So let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 150 miles in 5 hours. So given this example, what we have here. So as you can see miles, meaning this is distance. And 5 hours, this is T. So what's missing is your speed. Therefore, you will be using this formula. Speed, or S is equal to D over T. Substituting the value of your distance, which is 150 miles, over your time, which is 5 hours, So you can simplify this. You have 150 divided by 5. So our speed now is equal to, this is 30, right? 150 divided by 5, which is 30. Okay? And then this is miles per hour. This is our, this, this is our speed for item number 2. So going back with our example number 1, 
we have calculated the distance. For item number two, we have calculated the... So let's move on with item number three. For number three, we are given the problem 75 kilometers at 50 km per hour. Now as you can see, obviously this one is your distance and this is your speed. So the missing variable here or the missing quantity here is simply your time. Your time is equal to distance over speed. So we will substitute the value of 75 kilometers for the distance. So that would be 75 kilometers over your speed which is 50 kilometers per hour. So we can, we can eliminate your kilometer, kilometer, and what will remain is the unit of hour. And dividing 75 by 50, your time or the value of your time is 1.5 hours as the answer. So ito yung haba ng ating mismong travel if you have 75 kilometers at 50 kilometers per hour as your speed. So I hope guys you learned something from this video and please do share this video for those students or those who are preparing for their board examinations and I hope you will do well. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!